I signed Rod Smith. <laughs> Primarily looking at him as a fullback. Yeah, yeah. We, we just uh, you know we're just trying to find the right fullback combination. So uh, bring Rod, Rod in, work them out, bring him in, veteran player, and uh, see, see what we can do. You anticipate having a fullback on the roster, or is it one of the tight ends? It's an ongoing, legitimate ongoing conversation. We find a guy that we think is good enough and can help us and play on teams, we would keep one. If not, we'll just utilize the, the tight ends. How does Tommy fit in that situation? He would be one of the guys that would, you know, if, if, we, if we're not playing with a fullback, he would, he would be in that, in that mix. Are you happy with where Joe Charlton is, or can you see bringing in another hunter? Still? No, I'm very happy with where Joe is. I mean, he's, he had one the other day, was 5-4 or hang time, put it, you know, inside. He's putting the ball where we want it, um, holding, his holding which was not a strength, you know, for him coming in. Uh, he's gotten much more consistent with his holds, so uh, I think Joe's having a good camp. This is kind of like your last practice of, uh, of mini camp, where you kind of did more situational. Was that kind of how you mirrored this this session a little bit? Um, I'm not sure in terms of the last the last practice. You know, today it just uh, I thought they just needed to get out and play some football. You know, I mean. Drills are great. The nine on seven is great, and we, I like those things. But sometimes you just have to get out there and get reps and play and put things on tape and see what we're doing well, see what we're not doing well, um, seeing guys against different groups, you know. Um, so it just, you know, our guys like to compete. So we just put the ball down and played today. So that was a, just a you know, conscious decision. We, we do that. We did that last training camp. Some just did it in the spring. Some with OTAs, just, just uh, you know, everything not scripted, you know, just react as you go. What did you see out there that you liked? Um, uh, I liked a lot of things. I mean, I thought there was a lot of good football. Uh, I thought Christian ran the ball well. I thought Sam was excellent. I thought he found a lot of completions. I thought the quarterbacks in general in two minute going down there and getting in field goal range, um, that was that was what I wanted. Um, I thought the defense played really well at times. Um, on the flip side, you know, way, way, way too many penalties on offense. It's, I mean, it's, 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 um, it's unacceptable and weren't able to turn the ball over on defense. I thought a red zone offense for the second day in a row, you know, we look like we're functioning pretty well down there. So, you know, it's like everything else. We'll go watch the tape, some good things, some bad things, but that would be my overall impressions walking off the field. Has Arnold starting to become that, I don't say security blanket yet, but what you didn't have last year at the tight end position? Um, you know, I think he, I mean, he's, a, he's a unique player and that he's a receiver, tight end, combination guy that you can use in a lot of different ways. And I think all of our tight ends have gotten more involved this camp, to be quite honest with you. I think Ian's having a fantastic camp. Um, we've gotten the balls to him. We've gotten balls to Tommy. I've gotten balls to Colin. So uh, we like our tight end room. Uh, we really do. So, um, but, but Dan, you know, in those, in those crucial third long situations, we've been able to find him. How's Arnold uh, profile as a blocker? Um, you know, I probably need a little more time to see that. You know, I mean, he's 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 done a good job since he's been in there, but he's mainly been used in his history as a receiving tight end. So, um, you know, I think all of our tight ends bring a little something different. You know, Colin being sort of the you know, the jobs guy, the glue guy that gets everything done. Ian being our most well-rounded tight end. You know, Tommy, young guy, kind of a move guy, and Dan, receiving tight end who will block. So, um, you know, they're they're all kind of making progress. How hard is it not to tip your hand in, in that way? You know, it's like you have. I mean, I think that's every team in the NFL. And one thing I've learned is if you don't have tendencies, you're not good at anything, you know. So, um, you know, Dan, Dan's a receiver, but he can certainly block. There's not, you know, I, I, I have no concern about him. And I think Joe and the staff will do a good job of utilizing guys' strengths and making sure that, you know, we get people different looks, you know, different different plays from the same look. Matt, you did not have Joey kick at the end of those two minutes. What, I think you took one of the snaps. Yeah, yeah. What, what? I was just I was just simulating a block just to make sure Dante scooped and scored and realized we had the lead end of the game. Just get down, you know. So um, just the next one we threw over the line like as if it was blocked, and so everyone would get away from it. So there's some situational things, but you know we have Joey kicking like three days a week right now. That's just kind of his. So we went. I think we went Monday, Wednesday, and then tomorrow night for a fan festival kick. So have there been any guys that you didn't expect to have emerged as leaders in this training camp? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody that you know emerging from where we were. I think, I think Dan Arnold's shown a lot of leadership. Um, you know, I think, uh, I think we have a, a bunch of guys though that do that. You know, we have a, a good leadership group, council group that comes to me, and um, you know, right now I'm, I'm really focusing on everyone just 
worrying about themselves, focusing on themselves. You know, I think the best way to improve the team is to improve yourself. And if everyone just gets a little bit better, the team gets better. Um, and so, well, at the same time, establishing standards and holding each other accountable. But, you know, we don't need a ton of speeches right now. We just need to get up when we don't feel like getting up and come out here and grind. And um, so I think that's all just kind of a work in progress. It's emerging, you know. I think being out here, guys are getting to know each other better. Then we go to Indianapolis for a couple of days, spend some time together. So it's kind of a unique experience camp, you know. So. I think it'll just continue to emerge, and then, you know, to me, leadership leadership can't be convenient. It shows up in hard times and difficult times, right? So, um, I'm anxious to see, uh, you know, who those guys are. Is Daquan kind of a veteran day off deal? Today? Yeah, yeah, I gave yeah. him a, a vet day. I mean, he's, he, I watched him on tape yesterday. He's sprinting to the ball down the field. I mean, you know, so um, I went, I, I gave him, I gave him today. So he went and lifted, and then got a little rehab, and then came out. So. What can you tell us about AJ and Shaq? Um, you know, AJ couple, won't be here for a while. You know, probably a couple of weeks with a strain. And um, uh, Shaq, um, Shaq, you know, hopefully would be back here soon. Denzel. I don't know. I really don't know how long his will take. You know, his he's got again. He has a, a strain. You know, so I just kind of how those muscles come around. But I think Shaq probably is the closest. Are those hamstrings? No, no, no. We got all different, all different kinds. So we got groins and hips and quads and so. Soft tissue. All soft tissue. Yeah, all soft tissue. When you go to Indy, is there anything intentional about the way that you guys will spend time with who's going to be with who? Do you think about that stuff at all? You couldn't do any of that last year. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, we're still not putting guys in this, you know, we're not putting guys in the same room or anything, but, you know, even the way we broke up our locker room last year because of COVID, you know, having different, you know, not having it by position, which is what I believe the Panthers had previously done. Uh, a lot, I've had a lot of guys say to me, like, hey, coach, I really like that, so we're continuing to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, We'll give them some free time in any so they can go out and be on their own. We'll give them an off day while they're there. So um, they'll, they'll, they'll kind of gather around with, with who they who they normally hang out with. But I think we try to be intentional about getting guys around different people and, you know, uh, some different team activities that we do. Matt, you saw what being in front of a live crowd last Saturday here at Gibbs was like. You saw how your, some of the younger players reacted. You have another chance in front of a live crowd tomorrow. What, I guess, adjustments or what would you like to sort of see to let you know that you're progressing forward and or just with a different atmosphere than you're used to? Yeah, so so last week to me was a practice that, that we had fans at. Tomorrow to me is Fan Fest. It should be like a celebration. So things that I'm not normally accustomed, like I'm not really into, you know, like I'm, I'm into, you know, because I, I think there's, you know, there's probably people that don't get to come to a game that can maybe come to Fan Fest, right? And there's kids all across, you know, the region that are going to come, right? So, you know, we'll have the players talk here and there. We'll we'll maybe do some fun things. So um, we'll get some work done. But uh, I want it to be a celebration of our players, and I want it to be a good experience for all the kids that, you know, and fans, but I always think about kids, right? You know, all the kids that come, and this is their chance to see Christian McCaffrey and, you know, J.C. Horn and whoever else. So.